Hello and welcome back. We're here with Julia Murney. So you had a blast in the Dominican Republic, I take it, yes. after the closing of, of the Wild Party. Yes. Uh, the, next big, the next big opportunity that came along for you happened to, in the moment, be somewhat of a, of a small opportunity, which was singing Defying Gravity at the duplex downtown. Oh, gosh. And being the first person to sing it. In New York. In New York. Because it had been sung. Stephanie Block, 70 J Block, had sung it prior in California in readings. Okay. And yes, I did. That's, that's right. They were doing a Stephen Schwartz evening, a tribute to Stephen. And he said, you can have someone, you can, I'm going to phrase this correctly. Here it goes. You can have my new song performed from my new musical, but Julie Murney has to sing it. That's how, kind of how that went. Well, that's a compliment. Pretty, it was a Are you kidding? It was a crazy <laughs> compliment. I sang that song there, and I do remember going, oh, my God, why is it so high? This is such a high song. It's got to <laughs> stop. And I think Stephen Aremus played. I'm pretty sure that Aremus played, who was the music director for The Wild Party. Yes. Who ended up being the music director for Wicked. Click, 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 click. Again, click. again. And I auditioned, finally, when Wicked came around, um, I auditioned for the big workshop of it and um, and I didn't win and there were a few of us at the end do you recall who who was who the was only there person I saw was Adina you? okay uh, and uh, and I was waiting for her actually oh. but I, I would I was having a moment in my life that had nothing to do with wicked I was having a little bit of a breakdown and uh, and I remember in my audition, I was just sort of so out of body. I was, I wouldn't have picked me that day either. I was kind of, the little man on my shoulder was over here, and I'm reading with Kristen Chenoweth, who was an old friend, but over here, it's like, oh, there's Christy. You haven't seen Christy in a while. I wonder if she's still dating so-and-so. Oh, look, there's my reflection in the mirror. You look like a fat cow. What are you doing here? It was, he was really helpful, the man on my shoulder that day. Mm -hmm. And it was just, for whatever reason, and, and Dee and I are as apples and oranges as you can get. We sing the same notes, and that's where the comparisons mm -hmm. end. I knew I had a feeling in my gut that that was going to be a very special show, and I was really sad when I didn't get it, but I also, like, I cried and mourned it, and then I had to sit down with myself, and I was like, hey, self, guess what? It's not your friend's fault. It's not anybody's fault. They just picked somebody else, and I'll be damned if I'm going to feel... Um, any kind of jealousy toward this woman who I love so much. Maybe this was up to you. Why, why was it then such a longer amount of time until you actually stepped in and um, took the role by the reins and said, I'm here? They said, we, we would like you to do it. And I said, no, because at that point I was terrified of it. Was that for the tour or was that for the Broadway That production? was for the tour. Okay. That was for the tour. It seemed like such a beast. And I don't tend to look at shows... Very rarely do I look at shows and think, ooh, I want to do that. I look at shows and I go, ooh, look at her go. I'll be over mm -hmm. here. <laughs> and Dee had put such a stamp on it that I was like, ugh, I can't do it. I don't, I don't, I don't know how. I can't sing like her. I can't, like, it's, so I had to do a lot of figuring it out. For and what, what turned the switch for you to say yes? Um, <laughs> really would turn the switch is I made a few um, contract demands. They weren't like, I want a, you know, a flamingo and a, and a penthouse. They weren't that kind of demands. 36 but, roses on my... One million dollars. <laughs> um, but there were, there were things. There were, like, I think there were three things. I was like, I'll do it if this and this and this. And then they came back and they said yes. And I was like, oh no, they said yes, now I have to do it. They just called my bluff. Son of a... <laughs> I worried, oh my gosh, I'm replacing someone who's been with this company for a year. Are they going to be like, she doesn't do it like Stephanie. It, it, I was just, I didn't know. Mm. I had never, I'd never been in a show that had replacements, nor had I ever replaced. Because everything I had done had been either limited runs or something like Lennon, which just went clunk clunk. I went in with, into the tour with a new, a new Nessa, a new Wizard and a new Madame Morrible, and a swing for, for me, which they had not had before. Um, so there were a few of us who were learning the show together, which was a little more like, 
Okay, all for one. A team effort, As sure. opposed to one person like holding your breath and jumping. Mm -hmm.